Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys this week, Libra? Let's see where you're at. New love prospects or connections for those that who want somebody new. Okay. There we go. So we have the chariot. So I feel here, I have to look at these in an angle because of the glare. Yeah, strength of will. So somebody's got a lot of willpower here. <laughs> it's a person who's determined to succeed by using their willpower. Yeah, so I feel here, yeah, we have someone here who's definitely going through some mental anguish. So someone here is a little stressed out here. If you're driving, please don't drive when you're super stressed. But someone has some, um, somebody's determined to overcome this, okay? A lot of anguish. So I feel it's an energy, nine of swords, where somebody maybe has regrets they put on the brakes <laughs> or they lost control of their emotions. So, yeah. So I feel here, again, self-entrapment. Somebody's kind of trapped in their head. Now, this is, doesn't have to sound so dramatic. It could be someone here who's kind of has a lot of stress and anxiety, okay? Um, but someone here is trying not to... Re mistakes of the past somebody is kind of trapped in their thoughts here it looks like someone put on the brakes they were lost control of their emotions I feel they wanted something to be successful they're very determined so there's the magician see the resourceful creator someone's trying to manifest here I feel like you just have a person who um, is trapped in their head trapped in their thoughts okay self-imposed it's an energy of someone who needs to break free they're trying to manifest something but i feel it's a person who could be going around uh, about things the wrong way so we have someone here you know, someone's definitely an energetic powerhouse so it's a person who's starting to feel positive they're manifesting now this could be anything going on with this person it could be yourself maybe you put on the brakes okay maybe you're just too stressed Okay, maybe someone's manipulated. Somebody here is definitely in that energy of kind of thinking a lot about themselves here. So, um, but it's energy of somebody who's starting to feel more positive. So I see some kind of more positive communication. So it looks like somebody here is going to break out of this overthinking energy. Uh, mind over matter. This is someone very, it's a person who feels, they're definitely someone who's putting the brakes on those that emotional energy. It's a person who doesn't want to make the same mistakes they've made in the past. So I feel someone's feeling more enthusiastic. It looks like a communication, but it could be someone here who's been kind of thinking about themselves a lot or it's another person. But the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, mind over matter, somebody very logical, okay? Someone's doing a lot of thinking. You got a person who's in their head. They're trying to manifest here. No, but I feel like I say, they're just in their head. I, I think it's just a person who can't stop thinking about you. I don't know if you put on the brakes um, here, but I, I feel as though this is someone who is determined to manifest, okay? So there is some enthusiasm there. Yeah, it has to do with the way they conduct themselves. Now, it could be to do with some kind of commitment. See, it has to do with committing. This could be a person who has old school rules. So it has to do with this person, I feel, kind of lacking the faith maybe in themselves here. Now, I, I feel like they're just really trapped in their head. They need to get out of their head. Okay, whoever this is. It could be yourself. So there's the page of cups. Yeah, so somebody here maybe apologizing for the way they conducted themselves. See? Yeah, I this in the center. This is somebody here who it's a romantic gesture. Or it's an emotional uh, communication. But I feel this is someone who's feeling apprehensive. But I do feel they could be apologizing for the way they're behaving. Yeah, it could be someone who's put the brakes on. I don't know why, but they're trying to manifest something. Okay, watch out for any kind of emotional manipulation. And maybe that's what's happening. Maybe you feel like someone's manipulating you because of the way they're conducting themselves. But I, I do see uh, underneath all this, somebody is feeling pretty emotional. So here is the somebody working. Yeah, eight of coins. Somebody working hard. They're doing some inner work. But it's a person. I feel this is somebody who's trying to build something they're trying to work so it could be a person who just has a lot of things going on it could be a person who works a lot rinse and repeat they're just in their head it really could be a lot of things I, it doesn't have to be mental anguish and i'll be honest this is the first time i've used this deck i don't know if this deck and i are going to have longevity but we'll see i'm just going to try to get used to these energies okay so i'm just going to kind of go with my vibe the way i feel 
Yeah. I actually feel this is someone who's going to break free. Okay, they're going to take charge of a situation because it's full steam ahead here. But if they do drive for a living, <laughs> any of you who are driving for a living, if you're stressed, please do not drive when you're this stressed out. I think it's just someone who's a workaholic. They work, work, rinse and repeat. They're in their head. They may even work in their sleep. So let's have a look at the chariot. It has to do with their lifestyle, their habit, the way they may even apologize here because I feel they're trying to manifest. They're feeling enthusiastic. See, it's something to do with truth, success, victory. Okay, sort of a win or lose situation, but there's sort of an aha moment here. So it's about being patient. See, it's an energy of investing and being patient. So I, I don't know whether you put the brakes on. Maybe you lost patience. Maybe you're the person feeling a bit stressed. Um, I feel it's just an energy of a lot of unfounded fear. Someone's in their head, they have unfounded fear. So if you put the brakes on, this is where this person's at. They can't stop thinking. Yeah, they're trying to manifest here. I feel they're trying to manifest money too. They're working really hard. So there's that energy of two of wands, someone at a crossroads of time in their life. Now this could be about taking something to the next level. Okay, a relationship. So it's about being patient. It's about waiting for something to pay off. So, yeah, it could be someone who's, like I say, working really hard. It could be just something to do with work. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, so it has to do with this person being emotionally filled. I actually feel things are going to turn around. I feel there's somebody's going to apologize for the way they've been conducting themselves. I see a romantic gesture. They're trying to perfect their craft and skills. Yeah, they, this is somebody who wants to build. They want something to work out. So I, I feel it's that somebody who needs to just put all those cups on the table and get out of their head. I actually feel they're, this is going to turn around, see? Feeling happier. Feeling, feel, it's an energy of someone putting themselves out there emotionally too, putting all the cups on the table. So it has to do with someone thinking about their future, what makes them happy, the crossroads. So if you have been waiting for someone to take things to the next level, okay, uh, I feel they're manifesting. I feel they're just trying to make a lot of money, Kind of old school rules here. So there it is, releasing things that no longer serve. Something to do with this hopes and dreams. Now there's an Aquarius energy here and a Gemini. Little Aries, Leo, Sag. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. Yeah, I, I feel what we have here is a person who's trying to be enthusiastic. They're trying to release things that no longer serve. It has to do with their hopes and dreams. This is somebody who sees you that way. Their hopes and dreams. They're trying to manifest. I don't know why. I feel like it's unfounded fear. Some kind of unfounded fear. Okay, maybe taking it to the next level. What makes them happy? So could be someone who's gotten caught up in something before, you know, but I feel they're just an overthinker. They're overanalyzing something. So there's the pause, looking at things from a different perspective. See, seeing things from each other's perspective, releasing things that no longer serve. There's the aha moment, patience. So it has to do with being patient, some kind of truth. Somebody's having that moment, okay? Yeah, I feel it's just a, this person's trying to um, control their emotions. I feel their emotions are getting the best of them, but they're not really putting it out there. It's all in, in their head, you see? Yeah, this is someone thinking about walking away, see? But this is a person who's searching for something, see? This is somebody who you know, feels like, maybe they feel like you're going to walk away. Um, maybe somebody's walked away from them before. But I feel this is a person who's searching for something. They're definitely soul searching. I can see it. They're looking for something here. Yeah, I feel that. It, I feel you're going to get an apology. Maybe they walked away, or maybe they're looking at why you walked away from them if you put on the brakes. But there's the hierophant. See the way they conduct themselves. This is an energy of someone who's trying to have faith in what they're manifesting. They actually have all the tools. They have everything they need. Okay, to be successful. Because I do feel they're working. Absolutely. So it has to do with uh, the way they conducted themselves. I feel they're going to apologize. Uh, they may be just focusing more on work. Uh, I feel this is someone who's trying to think of ways to make you happy too. It may not be as negative as it looks, you know. I'm not a fan of some of these swords cards because they do kind of, they kind of get you right. But uh, the vibe I feel is it's, it looks worse than it is. 
So yeah, they're soul searching, their lifestyle, their habit. They're thinking of commitment, taking things to the next level. So this is someone soul searching. They're looking at the way they're conducting themselves. You see? Yeah, they know. This person's at that crossroads. Now, if you have been seeing someone dating them, I feel it has to do with taking it to the next level. They're looking at the bigger picture because you can see this forward thinking. Now, if you walked away and put the brakes, they can't stop thinking. <laughs> they're soul searching more than anything here. Yeah, they're looking at what makes them happy. Maybe, you know, I don't know who's walked away. Maybe they did and they're apologizing, but there's it is. Yeah, this is somebody who's single, somebody who's uh, definitely um, looking at that energy. Someone who's enjoying the fruits of their labor, see? They want to build. I feel this is somebody with old school rules. It's obviously a person who feels they need to work. They need to build. But it takes two people. And I see the Hierophant is here twice. So it has to do with having faith, the way someone conducted themselves, their life path. So it's a person who's uh, trying to have faith in themselves. They're trying to be enthusiastic. They're looking at things from a different perspective. They may see things different than you. So yeah they're definitely you know it's a single and it could be an energy of someone who's searching for you you know looking to see if you're still single i feel they want to apologize for the way they behaved yeah eight of coins there we go yeah so this is a knight of wands this is someone who rushed in and out see they're kind of leveling up a little bit though feeling more enthusiastic so it's an energy of someone maybe they walked away they rushed in too quickly okay Maybe they felt overwhelmed. I, I feel they work a lot too. I, I do. Whoever they are, they're working. They're trying to build. I feel they're doing a little inner work here too. Yeah, their path in life. Having, I feel this person lacks faith in themselves. Okay. Uh, but I feel they're starting to feel more enthusiastic. So, yeah. They're looking to see if you're still single. If they find out you are, they find out the truth. They're, they're likely going to come in. So you may not want this. Maybe you've already moved on. I don't know. But I see the pause, looking at things from each other's perspective. Now, I don't know if they were behaving immature, okay? Um, whatever it is. They may have said something, put their foot in their mouth, saying all the wrong things. But, you know, it, it, it is enthusiastic, okay? This is somebody enthusiastic, like here for a good time, not a long time. So something's happened there. Maybe it's a person who's thinking they'd be better off single. But I don't think this person can stop thinking about you. They want to build. Yeah, see, you trust your intuition. You likely know who this is. But it's also this person's inner knowing, their inner wisdom. They're trying to be wise, you see. Yeah. Let's have a look at the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone failed to recognize something they couldn't see. I, I feel this person's trying to find out if you're still single. I feel they want to talk and communicate. Maybe there's something you didn't see or maybe you were indecisive. I don't know who's indecisive. You're the king of swords or if it's another person because I'm seeing Aquarius and Gemini and Taurus and Virgo energy, um, some Pisces energy and some Sag energy. Yeah, so it has to do with this person taking a leap of faith. So it's, it has to do with taking a risk okay some kind of leap of faith you know now we have the queen of swords so i feel this is the that energy maybe you took a risk maybe it's yourself you took a risk with this person but i feel like you're being discerning being wise trusting your inner knowing it's like you already know everything you need to know i feel like you know who this is so if it's someone you haven't seen or heard from for a while boy are they ever thinking yeah it has about to do with building putting in the effort see it takes two people uh, to build here but it has to do with this person putting in the work. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I, I feel like it's like it's both of you kind of thinking some of the same things where you can't stop thinking about each other. I feel it's an energy of focusing on the good times, time spent together, the happiness, not focusing on negative. Because that's what I feel like it's someone's trying to change their perspective. So I don't know whether it's a person who rushed into something before, um, got caught up or trapped in something that didn't make them happy, okay? But I feel it's somebody here who's trying to think about the good times, trying to think positive. 
I feel they're trying to release things that no longer serve, but it has to do with manifesting their hopes and dreams. So what is this star? Let's have a little clarity on the star. This person might feel like you're out of their league or the situation's out of reach. Maybe that's why they walked away. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's something here to do with finances and money. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is someone practical, grounded, and sensible. Okay, so I feel this is someone who sees this this energy. Now, maybe this person communicated or did something that made you feel uncomfortable. Um, but it has to do with this person's hopes and dreams. They This is someone who sees somebody as marriage material. See, they're looking at that. But I feel that it's the way they conducted themselves. <laughs> they're looking at how you conduct yourself. <laughs> very gracious, very grounded, focused. Yeah, so something maybe made you feel uncomfortable here. I don't know, but maybe that's what they're trying to do is make things comfortable for you to make you happy. Maybe feel like situations out of the reach. They could never make you happy. Okay, so that could be why this person walked away or maybe why you did. I don't know who walked away. Yeah, they're definitely in their emotions. They're definitely really soul searching their feelings, their emotions. Uh, there's definitely um, this person. They're, they're searching for love. This is someone longing for love. Definitely. See, try to manifest. But I feel this person feels like you're out of the league or the situation's out of reach. Like they can't make you happy. They feel like they don't, they're not good enough or they don't have faith in themselves. It's like they've lost faith in themselves. And I don't really feel it has to do with someone being unfaithful because I'm not really seeing that. Uh, but I feel it has to do with uh, communicating, building, working together, um, you know, yeah, let's have a look at this two of swords, so there's an energy of indecision, somebody couldn't make a decision, or someone has failed to recognize, okay, failed to see, could be yourself, it's closest to you, but it could be this person, I feel it's an energy of two people just sort of um, need to see things from each other's perspective here, yeah, Knight of Cups, though. See, it's energy of dating, courting, communication, taking action to communicate. So some of you may, like I say, maybe there's someone here where you feel like the way someone's conducting themselves. Maybe they're too emotional for you. Okay, maybe there's someone who's very emotional and they've lost control. They came in too, too emotional. So maybe that's something that you're not comfortable with. I don't know. Not everyone's the same. But there's the energy of justice, see, coming in right, doing the right thing. So it's the way they conducted themselves. I feel they want to apologize, but I feel it has to do with trying to do the right thing. This person may feel walking away is the right thing to do. Like they love somebody. Sometimes you have to set somebody free. I feel they feel they can't make you happy. But I feel this is someone who's putting all their cups on the table. They're sharing their feelings, emotions. Maybe it's just too much. <laughs> Too much, too fast? Yeah, so there it is. Something about new. Things becoming clear. This person's looking for clarity. They want to start something. They may be looking to see if you've started something new. Feel they can't see. They don't know if you're single or not, possibly. But if you have a choice between two and it's yourself making a choice, you may have another person coming in. Maybe you're trying to decide who's right for you or not. So I definitely see the apprehension, but it looks more like an apology, a romantic gesture. But I can see this somebody leveling up. But yeah, I, I, I feel like everything's going to be illuminated. And I, I feel it has to do with the way someone expresses themselves. Okay, maybe how they started things. They didn't come in right. Um, maybe this is yourself. Come in right or don't come at all. Put in the effort. See? So there's accusations or something here uh, to do with this communication. Yeah, you are definitely, you know, put in the work, put in the effort. You want, I, and I feel like you want this to work, but I feel like, you know, you're trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. They may not stick around. They may rush in and, and rush out, you know. Maybe you have an opportunity for something new and maybe you're thinking here, you know, that something is worth uh, building and working on here. Yeah, see, the energy of somebody rushing in and out. So if you have another person here, you know, I feel like it's an energy of looking at the truth. Okay, Maybe somebody's kept a secret, yourself or this Queen of Swords has kept a secret. Okay, but I it really, to me, is just your inner knowing, trusting your inner knowing like you already know. Okay, 
But you know what's so interesting? It's like maybe you know how they feel. Maybe you understand maybe the way they conduct themselves. Maybe you understand that they work a lot. Okay, because I do see patience and truth, victory, success, that light bulb going off, the aha moment. I feel they're looking for truth to see if you've started something new. For those of you, you may have somebody new coming in. But I see somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve. I see uh, somebody here who, like I say, may have lost control of their emotions and just came in way too emotional. They were just like full steam ahead, right? Yeah. Tell me more about this King of Cups. They're definitely in their feeling. I feel someone feels they can't make you happy. They don't have faith in themselves. Okay. That they can make you happy. And, and what I feel is somebody who's kind and compassionate. They're choosing to walk away because they care. So let's have a look at the King of Cups. Yeah. They want to offer something solid. See, putting their best foot forward, coming in right. So it's about being a little more grounded. See, it's about stable. So... You know, they want to build. I feel they want to build. I mean, it's possible you have a choice. Some of you, you may be looking at things from a different perspective and taking a pause. Now, it's possible you have somebody checking you out. Some of you side messages, seeing how you behave. They like the way you conduct yourself. You know, you take care of yourself. You're manifesting, but there could be a little mirroring here. But I feel like this, if it is someone who's just checking you out, they may feel like they can't make you happy or you're just out of their league. Okay yeah situation out of reach where they feel like you're out of their league maybe they don't have a huge amount of money i don't know they certainly have a lot of love to give i feel they want to put their best foot forward they want to start something you see so most of you i feel they're they want to get this going but others of you it's someone looking to see if you've started something new yeah tell me about the sun yeah, see the moon, the sun and the moon, contradictory energy. So there's something hidden. They're a little bit confused. I feel they can't see something. Uh, if it is online dating or if they're checking you out on social media, they may not be able to see. But I feel they're a little bit confused. Okay. And it could be yourself. Okay. Somebody doing inner work, definitely an energy of inner work. But, you know, I feel it takes two people to build here. I feel this person wants to build. I feel like they, you know, I feel they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. There it is, a solid, reliable offer. I feel it's going to be an apology for keeping everything to themselves, keeping their feelings to themselves, okay? Maybe that's what you were wanting, was to take it to the next level. You're waiting for them to invest emotionally. Well, they definitely were, because we know the King of Swords is someone who often keeps everything to themselves. But they are, this is definitely an energy of a person who's, I feel they're going to break free and come out of this energy. I do, because I can see the cards, seeing. I feel they can't stop thinking about you. I do feel they have some anxiety and stress. I do feel they work a lot. Um, I, I just, overall, they feel they can't make you happy. Yeah, there's the Empress, see, being open. So maybe you're open to this, Libra, open to this. Okay, Maybe you do have something new and you've been keeping it to yourself. I feel like this is somebody who's definitely, their their feelings are, they're huge. I mean, this is a very emotional person. That the more they think, the more emotional they get. That's what I'm feeling. So, you know, it's a beautiful healing energy. I see a lot of balance. See, you're conducting yourself. I feel like you're open. Maybe you're just keeping your options open. I don't know. But there's a person who can't stop thinking about how they feel. I feel like you're both thinking of each other. I feel like you both want to build here, but, you know, it has to do with putting in the effort. There's an energy of soul searching, um, kind of going within, doing the inner work, you see. But I definitely can see some kind of uh, confusion. Someone's trying to see something and they're confused. Yeah, maybe it's yourself. Maybe you're not sure how you feel. Okay, it's possible. It happens. There's nothing wrong with being indecisive and not sure how you feel. Okay, yeah, there's that energy of the moon, a little cancer energy, yeah? looking on the past with kindness and compassion. But I actually feel here, you. I feel like you're both keeping your feelings within. There's love here. There's feelings, but you're keeping it in. You're not putting it out there. This is two people putting all the cups on the table, you see? 
the moon. It's creating a lot of confusion. I feel we got two people kind of unsure how they feel, but the Empress is here, which means healing, balance. So it's like balance being restored. They're offering this pentacle. Maybe this is what you've been waiting for, okay? Um, it has to do with being solid, reliable, planting the seed, putting their best foot forward. So someone may be apologizing for not putting their best foot forward. It's like they're the way they conducted themselves. They're soul searching it. Okay, they're soul searching the way they behave, but it has to do with uh, their lifestyle, their habit, whether they can make you happy. I feel they just don't have faith they can make you happy. But I still feel they're going to talk to you. Okay? They're going to come in and put in the effort here. But it takes two people to build, so it's an energy of someone tempering their passions, tempering their words, being patient, pulling back, seeing things different. So they're going to try something different. Now, maybe you have somebody else here coming in and you're tempted, okay? But be very careful if you have a new person coming in and you're tempted by them, they may not stick around. So maybe that's where you're unsure about how you feel. I, I feel we got two people who can't stop thinking about each other, but yet... I, you know, it's just perspective, how you see things. Yeah. I, I feel there, there's, this person has a lot of feelings. It's almost like they're walking away because they feel like it's the right thing to do. See? Yeah. See? There it is. The new. See? Everything being exposed, expressing all their feelings, wearing their heart on their sleeve. This is somebody who I feel is now getting out of their head, feeling happier. I feel they've been doing inner work. So... I mean, if it's somebody here, you're waiting for them to approach to get things going. Um, you know, maybe that's what you're waiting. It looks like to me you're open. The Empress is generally open, but you want love. You want someone emotionally mature and available. But sometimes, you know, Libra, uh, you know, maybe you're acting a little aloof. <laughs> you know, sometimes with that Queen of Pentacles acts a little bit of aloof. So do let them know that you're open if you are. If you're not, then... It's an energy of looking on the past with kindness and compassion, see? Yeah. There it is. Strength, being strong, being confident. See, it has to do with this person not feeling confident. Maybe you feel the same. Okay. I feel it's also, see, it's two people who need to make a decision. They need to be confident. It's an energy I feel that you both need to feel the same. But I do feel if you are tempted uh, to walk away, uh, maybe you're keeping something to yourself or you have another person, maybe someone you work with, you know, somebody who's coming in. This is somebody who may not stick around. They may rush in very fiery, very passionate and then uh, back out. So uh, it's, I feel it's telling you to be a little cautious, especially if you're feeling really emotional. OK, if your emotions are getting the best of you, see, try not to let your emotions get the best of you <laughs> so there's some kind of decision libra some kind of judgment okay maybe they judged you wrong or someone judged you wrong but you know i i feel it all has to do with healing and releasing releasing all these things that no longer serve and making the i feel like you're trying to make the best choice for yourself so if you have been tempted by another person maybe you're keeping it to yourself okay but it's about pulling back and seeing things differently, looking at things different. I feel this person's coming in. They're going to try something different. I feel one more try. Yeah, someone's going to put all their cups on the table. Happy home, happy life. See, it's a person I feel is feeling more confident. So whatever's happened, it does look like there is this energy where they're looking to see if you've started something new or you have been tempted by someone new. But you are thinking about your happiness, your future. It's an energy of seeing the bigger fitch, picture. But I feel like your intuition is already going to tell you, okay? It's already going to tell you, I feel, what you need to know. So whatever's happening, if this is someone you've been dating and it's at that point where it's time to take it to the next level and this person's decided to move on, it really is because they feel like you're out of their league or the situation's out of reach. They just can't make you happy. Okay, so it's again another person who, yeah, wish granted. See, that's coming out. See, this is someone who's your hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. <laughs> Aw, yeah, you're mirroring each other in some ways here. I don't know what's happened between you, but it definitely looks like they feel they can't make you happy. It's like they want to make you happy. They want to give you everything. They have a lot of love to give. There's no doubt there. 
But I feel it's time for both people to just lay it on the line, find the confidence to just put all those cups out there to tell each other how you feel, what you like, what you don't like, okay? And make a choice. So it's pulling back, watching your words, get it. I feel like you're both in your head, but there's so much emotion here. So it's, I feel it's kind of overpowering. So sometimes when people fall in love or they become kind of confused or, um, you know, that's people's run, emotions running amok. So I see the star, some kind of wish being granted. See, this is somebody who wants to start something. You're everything this person could ever want. So, uh, you know, maybe they made a bad choice. Maybe they chose to walk away, felt they were doing the right thing. Um, but uh, it, this is a person who uh, truly has a lot of strong emotional feelings. They care, okay? Um, not just about what makes them happy, but what makes you happy. So whatever that ends up being, I, I feel it's two people putting all their cups in the table, seeing the bigger picture, looking at things from each other's perspective, just taking a little pause, see, taking a little pause. Tell me about that hanged man. Yeah, see, it's energy of something worth fighting for. See, it's a person who rushed in, uh, maybe without thinking, they got too emotional because it's an energy where they don't want you to get away. Okay. But then sometimes it's a person who doesn't think things through, the way they communicate, their actions, and someone's moved on. I feel this person just feels they couldn't make you happy. But I feel this cycle is ending. There's a new cycle beginning, so there's a lot of hope. Okay, there's a lot of hope here. So I feel they're hopeful. You're everything they could ever want. But it has to do with the way they express themselves, I feel, because of the page of wands, see? Yeah, I don't know what all happened here. It's very hard with these energies, but it has to do with being patient, investing, seeing the truth, the light bulb going off. Aha. OK, so they get something. They get it. That's why I feel it's the way they conducted themselves. Maybe they weren't emotional enough. I don't know. But yeah, I, I feel here you know, it's an energy of we have a couple here. We have the king and queen of cups and then we have this new. OK. So if you have another person wanting to date you, maybe you're tempted, okay? Maybe you've kept it to yourself, or maybe you feel that way about them. It's like you're both thinking the same thing. <laughs> you're trapped in each other's energy, there's no doubt. So I wish you the best, okay? It's saying just kind of be patient, calm down, okay? Get out of your head, temper your words and your thoughts, okay? And I feel like you'll make the right choice. And I do feel it's going to take a lot of strength. We also know sometimes it takes a lot of strength, kindness, and compassion, okay, to put all your feelings out there. So it's sort of like, you know, it feels like the whole world to see, but it's just between two people. Yeah, they see you as everything they could ever want. They're very clear. So that it's about how they express themselves. It's about doing it, starting it. Okay, it's about getting it going. So they're definitely feeling more enthusiastic. Now, maybe they came in a little bit immature. Maybe they were focused on their own feelings too much, not yours, or vice versa. So there it is. House, a home, a family, a reason to celebrate. So, yeah, so this is uh, beautiful energy. It could be a reconciliation. If it's somebody you dated, it was time to take it to the next level, and they decided to walk away. Yeah, but they're searching. There's no one like you. I can tell you that right now. No matter where this person looks, there's nobody like you. So take care and I wish you the best and we'll see you soon.